Hi, this is a Fourscore tutorial on how to use Dropbox to import PDF music score files from your computer to Fourscore on your iPad. If you're not familiar with Dropbox, it's a cloud storage service that allows you to synchronize files between your laptop or desktop computer and any mobile devices that you have that you've installed the Dropbox app on. The first thing to do is to go to your your computer and visit the Dropbox website at dropbox.com and follow the instructions for downloading the Dropbox software and signing up for a free account. And the free account gives you a limited amount of storage space, but that's all we'll need for our purposes. When you install the software, it'll create a folder on your computer, which will be your Dropbox folder, where you place files that you want to be able to synchronize between your devices. Here's my Dropbox folder. You can see that I've organized it into subfolders by composer name. And what I'd like to do is take this PDF file down in the lower right corner here that's got a music score in it and transfer it into my iPad via the Dropbox folder. So I'm going to open up the subfolder for the appropriate composer here and then just drag and drop the file into the folder just as I would with any other file or folder. So once I've done that, I can switch back over to the iPad to import the file into Dropbox. I'm back on the iPad in the Fourscore app, and now I'm going to bring up the menu bar, and then the toolbox, and then in this section under Add Scores, I'll tap on Dropbox. And the first time you do this, you should follow the instructions for linking your Dropbox account. It'll ask you to enter your login information for Dropbox so that it can take you to the right account. And you can see here the same set of composer folders that I had set up originally on my computer. I'm going to go into the folder, and then I see the file name of the file that I moved into my Dropbox folder back on my computer. So I can tap on that to import it into Fourscore. And while that's working, I'll just point out a few things about the buttons on the top of this window. On the top left corner, the Upload button lets you move files from your Fourscore music library back into Dropbox. So if there's some file that only lives on your music library in Fourscore, you can transfer it back to your computer that way. The top center button, Download All, lets you download all of the PDF files in this folder list at one shot. And then the top right button, Unlink, lets you unlink this particular Dropbox account from Fourscore. So if you need to switch Dropbox accounts or if your Dropbox login information has changed, you would use that button. So now I'm going to find my new score in the Fourscore music library. If I go over here to the menu, then go to Composer, All Scores, and then Newest. Here at the very top is my new score that I've imported from Dropbox. Now I'd like to say a few other things about using Dropbox as an import method. There are actually, it's only one of about half a dozen ways to import PDF files into Fourscore. The other being email, web browser, iTunes, Bluetooth, and using your iPad camera to scan scores in. This is actually my preferred way, Dropbox import to move files back and forth between my computer and the iPad. It takes a little time to get set up, but once it's set up, it's really easy to move individual files as well as large numbers of files back and forth between your computer and your iPad. Um, the other thing I should mention is the Dropbox app for iPad. You, don't, you can go into the App Store and look for it. Um, you don't actually need it to integrate Fourscore with your Dropbox account, but if you find that uh, Dropbox is helpful for managing other kinds of files besides your music files, then it's a really handy tool to use. So that's something to take a look at. And the last thing is that um, Dropbox, for those of you who are music librarians, Dropbox has a feature that lets you share specific folders that are inside your Dropbox account. So 
that's a method that you could use to distribute music to um, members of your ensemble, assuming that they have iPads and Dropbox accounts as well. But that's something that I've seen other ensembles do for distributing music electronically. That's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching, and check out my YouTube channel for more tutorials on Fourscore and other kinds of music technology.